The ArcGIS platform provides a number of simple and easy ways to document the overall resilience of the community that you're serving. Here I'm using Survey123 through a graphical user interface directly in the browser to build my survey. First thing I'll do is ask a question on the name of the facility and make this a required question. Next thing I want to do is capture the location of the facility. Since this survey can be done through a browser or on a smartphone, I can go ahead and use the smartphone's capabilities to capture the location. I can set my default base map using imagery, street maps, topo, or any one of a number of other ones, as well as to set the default location. Next thing I want to do is use a single choice option to collect some information on the type of facility. So we'll do type and we'll give a few simple options here, medical, infrastructure, or other, allowing the right in. Next thing I want to do is kind of gauge the um, resilience of this um, asset based on the survey response. So I'll use a Likert question. You know, I have a number of different options here where I can collect date, time, um, integer, but I'm going to use a Likert on this one. So let's go ahead and pull the Likert across and click on it. And we'll ask a simple um, statement here for the survey to survey respondent to address. This location is prepared for any type of disaster. We we'll use the standard options here. And finally, we'll allow the respondent to upload a picture of this facility. Okay, and I will make that one a required question. Now, using the same tool, I can easily preview my survey. Since this, is, this survey can be um, executed through a browser or um, through the Survey123 app, I can see how it's going to look on a smartphone on a tablet or directly through the browser. And then with one click of a button, I can easy, easily publish this survey out and share it with anybody internal or external to my organization.